sort of start this vlog off by saying thank you to everybody who supported me. Without you guys, I wouldn't get to do what I do on a daily basis. I'm gonna use these vlogs as a tool to thank you guys personally in these videos. I'm gonna start it from this week. So everybody who's purchased from me this week, I'm just gonna give a quick shout out and, and it's just by way of saying thank you uh, for your support. So Joshua, Mario, Joshua, Ali, Mitchell, David, Daniel, Gabby, William, Stephen, John, and Will. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support this week. Now this week I want to talk about branding. Um, to do that, I just want to grab a product. So this is one of my S13 catch cans. Um, it's got my branding on it. Uh, everything I do has my branding on it. So a question I get from time to time is, can I remove the brand from the product? Anyone who's asked me this before would have got my spiel about it. So whenever I'm asked, the answer is normally or always no. The brand is very important, not from an egotistical point of view, uh, but from the point of view of propelling this company or this business uh, into the future, so tomorrow and, and beyond. So the branding itself uh, that gets put on these products uh, is ATP, which is AT Performance. So the reason that the brand is on everything that I make and sometimes to extent uh, the brand gets put on products uh, is simply for the future of the business. So if my products went out without any branding on them or the branding was covered up or, or removed, uh, it really doesn't help me grow as a business. So if you pop the bonnet on your car and your, your friends or, or if you're at a show or whatever see the ATP brand, they might be interested in the product. Interest gets me more sales. More sales allow me to keep doing what I'm doing uh, and grow this brand, grow this business, uh, develop more products and make the products that I already make better. So my thoughts when somebody asked me to remove the brand, uh, every time without fail I am offended by it. It's not personal, it's just I, I'm not sure where the question comes from. And I always liken it to a Nike shoe. So you wouldn't go to Nike and say, can you not put the brand on it? You're actively going out and buying that shoe, usually because of the brand. So when people ask me to hide the brand or remove the brand, uh, I, I equivocally say no, um, because of that reason I stated previously, that I'm trying to grow this business tomorrow and beyond. Um, I want to do this forever. So what does the brand mean to me? Uh, every time I put this brand on the product, it's sort of a signature of mine saying, I approve of what I've built. Uh, the quality, the research, uh, it goes out the door with my name on it. Um, it's my seal saying, I've done the very best that I can do for you. And here it is. And then going back to what I said, hoping that that reflects on the customer, you guys saying, look at this cool product, or this guy did a really great job for me. Uh, go check him out. Again, the runoff is, it keeps me in business, allows me to do this every single day and get better and better products out for you guys. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on in branding is why it took me so long to advertise my brand. I ran my business for many years, uh, three or four years before I even decided that I was going to tell the world I was doing it. Um, before I even decided to do Facebook advertising I don't regret doing that at all. Uh, it allowed me to build my business organically uh, by word of mouth and I didn't grow too fast to a point where my business would crumble on itself. No loans, uh, no capital, nothing like that. Um, it allowed me to do everything I did naturally, organically, uh, and, I'm, and I'm thankful from where I am now to where I was then. I'm, I'm very thankful that I didn't advertise early Now's a little bit of a different story. I still advertise organically, uh, where I just put my brand out there um, and make it known where to get it, how to get it. Uh, I don't pay for advertising still. I don't pay marketers or anything like that. Still very organic, but I do make sure that my brand is everywhere. It's available, it's easy to purchase, uh, and that I'm as easy to deal with as possible. Uh, so my reflection on branding 
uh, from a business point of view. Anyone watching this who might be starting a business or is in a business at the moment, um, my advice as someone who's been through it numerous times is to take your time with your branding. Um, even before you go to market with a product, really make sure that you've figured out your, your logo, what you want your customer base to see. Um, what you stand for as a business, what, you, what your uh, and that's that's going to change, of course, as as your business grows. But the message that you want to send out to people, I have changed this logo in this business four times, and I I, I do regret that. But because of the organic movement, uh, it didn't affect my business at all. But if I had launched with this logo that that was received really really well, um, it might have been a different story for growth in my business. So that's just a little takeaway I wanted to give you guys that are maybe starting a business or aspiring to start a business. Really take your time, set a week, set a month aside and really dial in that branding uh, before you launch. So wrapping that up for branding for AT Performance, um, to those guys who have asked for the brand to be removed from my products, there's absolutely no hard feelings and continue to ask and I'll continue to talk with you guys one on one. Uh, if you've got any ideas or questions for future vlogs, uh, things you want to know about me, what you want to know about AT Performance. Uh, again, there's contact information below, leave it in the comments. I would genuinely love to answer your questions uh, in this format. Finally, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video and I appreciate that you've chosen to spend a bit of time with me. That's a wrap for vlog number two. Thank you.